Congratulations on your purchase of Derex, the world's best-selling industrial drill sharpener. The XPS 16 CNC features a patented design that sharpens drills accurately in less than a minute. The super abrasive replaceable sharpening wheel can sharpen over 2,000 drills and the enclosed design ensures that grinding dust and grit are contained. It sharpens two fluted split point drills, high speed steel, cobalt, carbide and coated drills from two inches to eight and three quarters inches long. It can sharpen both standard conic and four facet points as well as produce standard and high performance radius split points. It will sharpen one eighth inch to five eighths inch drills or three millimeter to sixteen millimeter drills and can create angles from 118 to 150 degrees. The XPS 16 is designed to use the most common drill types. Your Derex will sharpen high-speed steel, carbide, cobalt, and parabolic drills, as well as tin and other coated drills. It can automatically hone carbide drill cutting edges as part of the sharpening process and can turn regular drills into self-centering, fast-cutting, high-performance drills. Stay tuned. The following tape includes a tour of the parts that make your Derex work, sharpening demonstrations, specific demonstrations for precision sharpening, and cleaning and maintenance instructions for peak performance. How to sharpen. Of all the Derex sharpeners, the XPS 16 is the simplest to use. There are just two steps required. Select your drill point and push one button to automatically size, align, sharpen, and split, and if desired, even hone your drill. First, you will need to consult your user guide to ensure that you set up your XPS 16 correctly. A tour of Derex. This is the chuck. Once the drill is tightened into the chuck, all work is done via the LCD touch screen. The cycle start, cycle stop, and emergency stop buttons are all located next to the LCD screen. This is the LCD screen. It is where the majority of the work will be done. From the main setup screen, you have the ability to select a quick start program or adjust a number of variables, including honing, point angle, and point split options. You can also create and save up to 25 of your own custom profiles via the file management icon. This is the storage area for your drills. Look inside the machine to remove the cover to change the wheel. Here is where you install the vacuum hose. Vacuum setup instructions. It is important to make sure that the vacuum system is properly set up before using your machine. To install, connect the plug from the vacuum to the plug on the back of the machine. Then connect the hose to the vacuum adapter tube on the sharpener and to the intake tube on the vacuum. The vacuum should always be connected to prevent damage to the motor. Detailed demonstrations. The XPS 16 can be programmed to meet your exact sharpening specifications. We will go over the main settings and use your user guide for specialized instructions. The point angle screen selector. The default point angle is 118 degrees. To change, press the point angle screen on the main menu. Then type in the desired angle from 118 to 150 degrees and press the save button. Material Removal Selector. Press the Material Removal button to change the amount of material removed from the drill. If the drill is heavily damaged or if you're changing the point angle, select the Mid or Max button. Otherwise, for a standard drill, press the Min button. Diameter Selector. The Auto Setting will automatically measure and display the diameter of the drill being sharpened. If the diameter of the drill being held in the chuck is different than the diameter of the tip of the drill then type in the correct number selecting either millimeters or inches and press save web thickness selector the auto setting will automatically calculate the web thickness of the drill being sharpened if you are creating an R split or advancing the cutting edge then manually enter the web thickness select the advance button to compensate for incorrect cutting edge alignment if the edge is not aligning correctly. Hone Selector. Honing your carbide drills can increase their accuracy and lifetime. Select Hone when sharpening carbide drills. Select No Hone for high-speed steel and cobalt drills. Additional honing options can be found on the Maintenance and Offset screen within the Tools menu. 
grind selector. From this screen, you can select either a conic or facet point style. Conic points are the common style used in the industry. Split point selector. To change the split point, press the split point screen on the main menu. Choose X split, R split, or no split. Relief screen selector. From the relief screen, you can adjust the relief of the drill from 5 to 18 degrees, plus or minus 2 degrees. Refer to your user guide to select the correct range of angles in relation to the point angle of your drill. Drill material selector. The drill material screen has two options, HSS or carbide. Press the HSS for sharpening high-speed steel and cobalt drills. Select carbide when sharpening carbide drills. You will be prompted to change the wheel to a diamond sharpening wheel. Consult your user guide for more information. File Management Selector From the File Management screen, you can either save specific settings in a permanent file or open a file that you have already created. To open a file, use the cursor arrows to highlight the specific file. Select the Open File button to load this file. If you wish to make changes, simply make the desired changes. Go to the File Management screen and select Save. This will allow you to create a new file without altering the original save file. Split Point Offset Selector The Split Point Offset Selector can be found in the Tools and Maintenance menu or for models with a date code of 71212 or newer, this button will be on the main menu. From this screen you can offset five different areas of the split point. The depth of split, the center of split, the fan angle, the split angle, and the radius split. You can increase or decrease the depth of split by pressing plus or minus buttons. Press the save button to return to the main menu. The X plus button will move the center split line towards the chisel line and will remove more material. The minus will remove less material. The split button will allow you to change the split angle. Press save after entering the desired angle. The fan button will adjust the fan angle. Press save after entering the desired angle. Refer to your user guide for more information. Tools, offset and maintenance screen selector. This menu allows you to change a number of specific preferences including adjusting the LCD screen and selecting advanced sharpening options, like adjusting the offset of the split point, honing wheel, and radius split. The maintenance menu allows you the option to permanently save changes that are currently only saved in temporary memory on the Derex. You can also press the download screen button to upload and download your drill files from your PC. Maintenance and cleaning. Your Derex is a precision tool and should be cleaned regularly. The vacuum system will help reduce the amount of maintenance necessary, but following the steps outlined in the user guide will help maintain optimal performance of your machine. To change the sharpening wheel, push the emergency stop button and unplug the machine. Remove the top two screws from the wheel cover, insert the spindle lock pin through the access hole in the top of the door, securing the wheel for removal. Loosen the wheel bolt and remove the wheel. If you need to clean the wheel, use a dry brush and brake cleaner. After the wheel has been replaced, it's important to recalibrate material takeoff. Test this by first measuring and sharpening a 3 8 inch HSS drill. If incorrect, adjust using the grinding wheel offset screen from the tools menu. Refer to your user guide for more information. At Derex, we want to ensure that you are fully satisfied with your product. Consult your user's guide and our website for additional information and contact numbers. Thank you for buying Derex.